Good morning everybody and welcome to the channel. Lifetime Products sent me this uh, kayak to use and review for you guys. They also sent me a paddle to come with it. So this is a Lifetime uh, set on top Stealth 11 foot. Um, it's got their uh, little bungee straps up here hold some cargo bungee straps back here to hold some cargo a cool little hatch for some storage below the deck um, three rod holders one right here this would be great for catfishing or if I've caught a fish I can set my rod right there in this uh, in this holder rod holder um, and uh, you know, get the fish off the hook real easy. Um, it's got the four handles. These are nice and sturdy. <coughs> My friend Adam, uh, he's got a little experience with kayaks, so he helped me get it loaded up this morning. Pretty easy to load. Uh, of course, I got a few little marks on it this morning. They're going to wipe right off from putting it on top of the Jeep over there. Um, one thing that I really like about this, see that little red, red scuffer wheel down there? Or skeg wheel, I'm sorry, it's a skeg wheel. So if I'm uh, having to pull it to uh, a place with some concrete, then uh, this would be something that I would do. You know, I, it would come in handy, coming over concrete and stuff. So. Um, I think this is a pretty awesome laid out kayak. It's nothing extravagant. Uh, it's got a decent price on it that won't break you. It comes in under under uh, 700 listed on the website and I'll include the link down there uh, in the description so you all can take a look at it for yourself. But, uh, man, I really like it. Uh, so, thank you, Lifetime Products. I appreciate the opportunity to do this. So, I'm going to pull her down to the, uh, to the bank here. And uh, we'll get her going. As you can see, it's not that hard, not that hard to pull this thing at all. All right, out on the maiden voyage. Wasn't really hard to get it off of the uh, Off of the, wasn't that hard to get it launched is what I'm trying to say. Now, I think I know where I'm going to go. Oh, it's fine. It's not, nothing's coming up. I got no water coming up through the scuppers at all. Right. It's hard to see in there right now. All these damn feathers. <laughs> Say good morning, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is sweet. Of course, my dirty ass shoes getting in the kayak. That's you know. Gonna happen no matter what. Right. That's
I've got this handy little paddle holder here. What are you jerking? Yeah. Gonna try to catch a fish in it now. Oh wow, you got one? Yeah. You know one thing, look, see how I got my paddle keep it across you. Across. Keep it across you? Yeah, like that, yo. Okay. That's how I found to be bad. Well, sorry, I didn't get any footage of your fish. I don't want no footage of these little guys. <laughs> Right, right. You get another one? Maybe I should just stop and watch you fish. All right. Number two, second cast, back to back. I didn't even barely have to search it. Once or twice, it was there. Yeah. I don't I think it's grass. Yep. Nice little grass bass. Hey, hold on, you're dipping the wheel. Let the line out. No. Yeah, do it that way. It needed a good cleaning. Found the grass again. This is where if I wanted to, I could just, you know, set the reel here and do it that way, but I'm kind of stubborn at times.
and what a beautiful day to be out. I think later on today I may have to uh, take the, the seat here and adjust it, adjust the back uh, up a little bit. I mean, I'm comfortable, but I feel like I'm too laid back um, to be able to really be comfortable. kind of in big fish country right now. Now, myself, as far as standing up in this kayak, um, I think it's, uh, it's stable, but <clears throat> For just myself, who's not experienced, who, you know, I'm a beginner at this. This is my first ever day out on a kayak in my life. Um, just for a uh, beginner, I think this is great. I think he just caught one. Look at him. Oh, I thought you caught one, man. I was turning around. I love that little setup you got. You don't have to paddle real hard to move. Yeah, right now I'm just learning to control it, and so far it's, That's yeah. what I do is I give it a few hundred paddles and I stop, like I am. Right. Post on it. some weeds down here. Trying to get out of Adam's way in case he wants to cast down this way. Well, I tell you guys. I think I would definitely recommend this. I'm gonna see if maybe I can talk Adam into taking a picture of me here.
Hey, matey. I did that on purpose. I was trying some boat control. Trying what? Boat control. I wanted to see how easy it would be to, like if I was getting too close, how easy it would be to stop. And it's actually pretty easy. Hey, can I get you to take a pic when you get a chance? Yep. All right. Oh. oh, yeah. I got this footage. Let me get out of your way. Oh. Up here in the shade. Hey!
How about that? Yes, sir. All right. First fish on the new kayak. Yep. Got to catch one of them every now and then. Yeah, it's pretty easy to handle. I didn't know what I was going to run it be running into. Well, the way they got these scupper holes set up too, I like them. They got ping pong balls, like uh, things. They're not ping pong balls, but they're little plastic balls that are down in there, about the size of a ping pong ball. And as water uh, comes up, the uh, the plastic balls raise and you know blocks any water from coming in. Now I've got a few sprinkles on it today, but I don't have anything. My pants aren't wet, my shoes aren't wet. I got nasty shoes. So, anyway, I'm gonna try, try again, catch a few more fish, or another fish anyway. Number two today. drifting into the shore. Oh, there goes my pole. That's where this would come in handy. I chose to use it. Alright. Alright. Hey! Number two today on the Right getting rid of our shed. Sitting there fishing with the camera not on and caught a fish and said, Oh, yeah. just a little bit. It takes me a little time to get used to this. You know, I'm used to standing on the bank uh, right down here at this little point and throwing.
Got a little wind hitting us in the face here. I can't complain. Two fish on the new kayak. Um, it's like I, I think I said earlier, I would recommend this kayak for a beginner. Um, very easy to handle. Now, I haven't tried to get out of it yet. Getting into it wasn't that hard. Um, I docked myself. Uh, crossways of the, uh, of the uh, parallel to the bank and left the edge of the kayak at the to where it was still touching uh, bottom and I was able to uh, Adam actually helped me get scooted off because being a beginner uh, I tried with the paddles but as a beginner at this, I was afraid of maybe breaking one, and I don't want to do that, <laughs> um, you know, at any time, let alone the very first day. I'll tell you what, this little thing handles good. It tracks real good for me. I don't have to paddle real hard to get it to do what I want it to do today. I'm just, you know, going a few feet and drifting and trying to catch a fish. And
this down here is big fish territory. It's supposed to be average fishing today, and I guess that's what it has been. I mean, yesterday was supposed to have been excellent, but at Oh, perfect handler. I love it. I absolutely love it. So I'm giving my arms a break from the uh, paddling. That was, uh, for me, it was a good workout. I mean, I've never done anything like this before. So thank you, Lifetime, for uh, allowing me the privilege to review that beautiful vessel for you. Um, it's just, I love it. I cannot say one bad thing about it. So, um, y'all, if you're a beginner looking for a kayak, I think that's one that uh, would suit you just fine. It's uh, 50 something pounds. Uh, I don't want to quote myself wrong, but I'll put it, I'll put the link for you guys to take a look at it. See what you think. Give it a try if you're a beginner. So, thank you all very much for watching. We appreciate you. And have a great rest of your day.